It is 843. Time to ask the attorney your legal questions. I'm happy to have attorney Sam Radner from the Heyman Law Firm here with me this morning. Uh, Sam, good morning. Let's get right to the question today from Frank D. who wrote in to say, I was injured in a motorcycle accident when a vehicle tried to pass me and sideswiped my bike. Due to my injuries, I left in an ambulance and never spoke with the police. When the police report just came and the other person said I rear-ended them. Can you help me? Yeah, I think we can. Um, there are lots of things that we can do. But the first thing you need to do is call the Heyman Law Firm and you and I need to talk because there's some additional information I'd like to try to get from you concerning the facts about what happened, what you saw. But given what you've said, there are a few basic steps that we take, and I've had similar situations. We've gotten many similar situations here at the office, and there's a variety of things that we can do. For instance, one of the things is check out the police codes on the report. I had a recent case from Massachusetts, not Connecticut, where similar uh, allegations were made, and the police actually marked with the codes where the damage was to the car, and we could tell it was on the side of the car, not the rear. So we were able to be successful in convincing the insurance company that what their insured was saying was inaccurate and we were able to get a recovery for our client. So that's one step. The other thing is we got to explore whether there's security cameras in the area. The faster you can secure the footage, the better. And these can come from a variety of sources, not just the municipality that the accident happened in, but local businesses. So the sooner you call us and the sooner you hire us, the better, because that stuff disappears sometimes in 24 hours. Sometimes not. Sometimes it they hold it for 30 days. It depends on who the business is and what security camera footage they have. But we've certainly been able to secure footage that shows exactly how the accident occurred. Um, the third thing is witness canvassing. So getting um, an investigator out to talk to people who live in the area or work in the area and see if they saw anything. Um, or maybe heard admissions right after the accident before the police get there. We've seen that happen too where witnesses don't come forward and say, well, oh, I didn't see it, but I heard the driver of the car say this. That's really rare, but through some canvassing, you might have some success, and we might have some success in obtaining a witness who actually heard an admission right after the accident, but before the police got there. Another thing we have to look at in a case like this is hiring an expert witness, because there are a variety of ways of reconstructing this type of accident, and getting the appropriate expert involved Depending on the nature of the injury, the extent of the injury, and the nature of the claim, because there is a cost to it, but we review that with you before we launch uh, right. such an exploration. Right. Um, but since you left from the scene and get to talk to police, maybe you got some serious injuries here, and it'd be worth doing this. Sure. Uh, reconstructing how the accident happened. I've had many cases where we've done computer animations, reconstructing the accident based on physical evidence good, good. Uh, that we've been able to obtain. Okay. So there are certainly things that we can do to help. So give us a call. Absolutely. At 1 800 Heyman or HeymanLaw.com is that number. Sam, good to talk to you again. It's good you to see too. even if the other driver says one thing, you can find the facts and let them speak for themselves. Thanks. Good to see you again. You too. All right. Turning now to the Weather Watch, meteorologist Matt.